Hi, my name is Kimberly from Zeeman Development. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of Audit Trail Cloud, our tool for tracking changes across your Razor's Edge database, wherever they might be made. So let's get started by making some changes. We're going to start by making some changes in database view. First of all, we're going to go to the address tab. We're going to delete an address here. And then we're going to go to the GIF tab and we're going to make a couple of changes to this gift here, we're going to change the subtype to online donation, and we're going to change the fund to our annual fund. So let's save and close that. And now let's go to data to web view and make some changes here. So we're going to add an online presence. We're going to make a change to the constituent's name. And we're going to delete one of his solicit codes as well. Okay, so now we've made those changes, let's go to our Audit Trail Cloud Viewer. So once we log into our Audit Trail Cloud Viewer, this is what we'll see. We've got the filter options and we've got the grid of all the changes that have been made. So just to talk you through the filter options, we can search by date. So we can search for on a specific date, between dates, before or after a date. So we can make sure we're looking at changes made in a specific time period. We can filter by area and then within area, we can filter by a specific field as well. And we can also filter on the type of change that was made. So either an addition, a change or a deletion. And we can use all of these fields in combination with one another, as well as looking for changes made to records for a specific user. So we can search for uh, any of our constituents within Razor's Edge. And we can also look for changes made by a specific person as well. So we can just look at my changes. We could just look at any of our users changes. And that's really helpful when we've got new staff or if we're doing some training. So once you've determined the types of records you want to look at, then if we click search, we can use that filter. Or if we click reset, we can bring in all of our new changes. OK, so let's take a look at the changes that we made. So just to talk through the grid here, we can see we've got the change ID, which are all the changes that are made before we hit save. Uh, we've got the constituent ID, the type of action it is, so a deletion, a change or an addition, the area, the field that was changed, the date and time it was changed, who it was changed by if it's available, the old value, the new value if it's uh, an addition or a change, and the constituent name, which is a link that we can open up their record in Razor's Edge. So we can see here the solicit code that we deleted. We can see the name that was changed from Ronald to Ronnie. And that's obviously changed our full name as well. We can see the online presence that we added. We can see the changes we made to the gift in database view. And we can see the address we deleted as well. So we can also make some changes here um, and we can undo erroneous errors. So if we click on the name change, for example, if we scroll right down to the bottom and say revert, then that will allow us to undo that change we just made. If we then scroll up to the top, we can see we've got a little reverted button here that shows us that we've changed that. And if we open this record back up again, he should be back to being Ronald, which we can see he is there. But we can also do this in combination with any number of fields as well. So we could select multiple fields and undo them. We could also uh, download this entire table if we wanted to make multiple changes and then import it back into Razor's Edge using Importacular as well. In addition to using the Audit Trail Cloud Viewer, we can see changes directly in the constituent record on NXT using our Audit Trail Cloud tile. And this will show you very similar fields to what we can see in the viewer, but it will allow you to see it for a particular constituent. Um, and we can see the type of action and we can filter on that. We can also see old and new values, the person who made the change and the date and time. In addition to this overview tile, we've also got tiles on the gift record. 
So we can see changes to this specific gift on that gift record. And we can see the same information on the action record. And you'll see all of those listed here. So just to recap what we can track, we're tracking changes across all of the fields you'd need to rebuild a record from scratch if it was accidentally deleted without having to do a rollback of data. We've got biographical fields, contact fields, gifts, actions, constituent codes and solicit codes to allow you to bring all of that information back in should you need to. We can see the track changes across the viewer that's available here and drill down into different areas, as well as on the constituent record in NXT on the summary tile and the gift and action tiles. And we can apply those features across our database, giving access to those who need it, but also being able to track changes made by new staff, common errors that have been made and any changes that have been made across the database that we might not want to see. We can track changes across both NXT and database view, and that includes global changes, changes to code tables, and even imported data as well, no matter what you use to bring the data in. If you'd like more information, then please do get in touch at development at Thanks very much for listening.